garments because learning to design garments you need to learn how to use the tape measurement and i'm so happy that there are many artists and crochet artists right now doing this way hey okay. friends another video here sorry i have been disappeared for like two weeks so much going on and now i'm just taking you to pack my bag with me <laughs> i have been like procrastinating because i don't know what to pack really and for those who follow me on instagram you know that i'm leaving and i also talk about that in the video before i'm going to thailand and yeah it's happening you remember we talked about i'm going to do the yoga t-shirt training in thailand so now the time is coming i'm flying on monday 21st of march yeah so one week from now and i have to pack my bag and i don't know what to take uh, every time i pack my bag i just take too much the thing i never use and so now i want to be more more conscious about what i put in my bag because last time in spain i don't know if i told you but i have five kilo extra like this was the clothes that i have to send it back from spain like all my crochet stuff you can see it's just like all the whole bag here was like five kilo to send back to germany and mostly like my crochet clothes yeah, it's hard to make a decision. I also want to take this one. I think it would be so nice. Even though it's wool, this is like made out of 100% wool. But get a little longer, so I have to fix a little here. Like I want to take out maybe one, one and a half inches. But this dress, there's a pattern though on my on my Ravelry and Etsy. And this is one of my favorite dress. By the way, I just published the new top and this is like number 100 Malena top. I'm gonna put it on and show you, okay? So here it is. Oh, my hair is a little bit mess. <laughs> um, you can wear it by it on. I, I insert the photo for you to, say, to see how it looks by it on. But now I just put on top of my long sleeve. And this is made out of seven millimeter hooks. So work up super fast and single crochet quite nice and fast to make i want to show you in the back so the back also like you just put it on like that and i love this kind of top though i think it would be also great for doing yoga so yeah definitely take this one with me and i think i'm gonna take like summer clothes for example this one also nice look at the color i think yeah it's just gonna take something that i definitely going to wear oh, yeah. so yeah this one i have two one of these and another one also the pattern available this pattern also available this one for sure i take this is my all-time favorite nadu top this is perfect for yoga i will take this one you see it's already hard everything i touch i put like just bring it up or just bring it out from my back i want to take it this one also perfect for yoga as well gonna take this one and the swimsuit for sure i'm taking also alice diva stretch yarn with me you know what that yarn i put the video somewhere here I use that yarn for my swimwear and I think I'm gonna take that one just one color in each skin skin. I used to take like four skin in each color and end up I have to bring back and I don't wanna do that anymore. I don't I want to be more conscious when I pack. This one I don't take. This is too warm for Thailand. This one I don't take. It's like I have to organize the clothes that I will also leave here. So yeah, let's do the mess part in here <laughs> look this is still not organized let's do it quick but look what i found in the box this is so funny this is like a hoodie oops i made this in 2000 i think 2014 <laughs> i really love the big hoodie and this is like a granny square a granny square into the hoodie and then i make a super long like long 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 just in this direction like just in horizontal way to make this trunk 
trunk you call and then i just make the strap here to to wear it to close it i used to wear this kind of clothes so much in the past i'm not taking it with me i'm just showing you what i found so today is another day of packing i have not managed to do much yesterday but you know what i found today that i want to show you i found this upcycle dress like a pullover i cut it together i think it's like one pullover with one sweater with a tablecloth or something or curtain i'm not sure so i I was crazy many years ago about upcycle clothing and I bought the tutorial from Cat Wise. I don't know if you heard about her. I believe you do if you are in the upcycle world. Or just go into Google and type her name, you'll see her work. So I bought her tutorial of how to use overlock machine. Yes, I bought the overlock machine. I have two sewing machine now. One is a normal one that I just use for fixing my clothes and also making my own clothes before i'm going crazy with crochet so yeah the overlock machine can make this type of garment like you can cut your sweater and you can sew them back together you need the overlock machine because they're stronger and they give this kind of you know stitch i really like this stitch look like you wear the clothes upside down but actually this is the way it should be so this is like one dress together with a super long pixie hoodie <laughs> I think I took this one with me because I was thinking I want to wear something like in Thailand I can just you know in the evening when it's like windy when I ride motorbike I can just put this thing around my neck like that Oops. Look. and if I want to put the hood on I can Oops, where is it, the hood like that i think it's pretty cool so yeah i just gonna take this one with me because it's short easy to wear first the way i pack is like this i'm gonna fold oh you wanna see the mess i show you the mess this is like all the clothes i have laying around also my bed here and up there so yeah clothes is all over the place they are clean i already washed them i just have to fold them nice and my plan is to fold them all put it on the bed and separate them crochet stuff and you know pants and shirts and then i will pick them from my bed this way i see or open and see what i want to take with me and after that i'm gonna make the list of what i take with me of course computer camera tripod microphone cable charger ipad so i'm gonna list everything that i need to make sure i don't forget anything especially a little cable like last time i went to spain and i took the microphone with me but i didn't take the cable <laughs> so it's no use of having this microphone so this time i have to make sure because i plan to make videos every single day and just you know show you around my land my country my land my country and wherever i go because i'm gonna also be in bangkok being my sister i'm gonna film the scenery in bangkok i think i'm gonna film everything since the day i travel from here okay so now let's do this packing <laughs> and then let's move on into something else that i want to show you but first i have to pack <laughs> So here, so far, I move my suitcase outside first <laughs> and yeah, this is so far what I'm taking with me, some, yeah, this is like crochet stuff but I think it's gonna be some more and I will take yarn with me, I have some skirts, like a few skirts and dresses, shorts. Yeah, let's see. This is like a first round of what I'm taking. Not yet put it in the bag because I have to organize the last pies there. And then I will choose in the final round. Now is the third day. Day number three. <laughs> and I decided to 
take more swimsuit i show you which one i take with me yes this one i have a free pattern actually on my ravelry i put the link if you want to get a free pattern it's also downloadable like i give as a gift pdf file on ravelry and this is for sale like the pattern quarter i also put the link for you but there is a video tutorial for free on my channel for this set and also this one i believe i have a bottom for sure this one on my channel all the videos tutorial that are available i will put in the description box below but you can also get the written pattern if you want to support me everything will be in my description box below and yeah, I take this, so I have now this one. I probably have to crochet something to wear with it, like short, shorts. <laughs> and this set, Quarasal, and then this one. I also take this one with me. This is one piece. I put the, the photo here so you see how it look on me. And yeah, so I have swimsuit, more than one. And also I take a few of my summer crochet top. I have Mayada, I have Anastasia crop top, I have yoga top, I have BFF bra, I also have two. And this one, Persephone goddess top, I have in purple too, but I'm just going to take one in white, Nadu top, and also Tiaya yoga top. So I do have these two of this one, this design. But I take just one. I try not to take so much because I also going to make more clothes when I'm there, like crochet when I have time. So I have, I think it's a lot now. So much actually. I thought it was not so much. But yeah, this is so far what I take with me. Doesn't look so much, but it's actually when I put in the, in the suitcase it will be full already. I know that. And I'm also going to take um, yarn with me. Some few of the dresses. I take maybe three dresses one two or four or oh, that's a lot like two long dress two long dresses and two short dresses and also i take two skirts which is not bad two is good and oh also one of these dress no i lie i actually take four dresses <laughs> i have another two here um no two here and then pants here top i take actually for now i just have two top on this another dress okay so there's another dress this dress should be there this is a top i probably gonna take one more top because um you know the crochet stuff i can wear during you know whatever i do there but when i go to for example i want to make a driving license so i probably should wear something more appropriate <laughs> Um, I also want to show you this top. Let me move the necklace to the back. <laughs> so this is the new pattern. Actually, the, the recent pattern, like this is pattern number 100 in my Ravelry shop. And I just want to show you the construction of this one. If you don't feel like get a pattern, totally fine for me. If you want to try to make it by yourself, I start the body part like this one is a bottom up and I do the measurement where I want my top to sit. To be honest, I want it to be longer, but somehow <laughs> um, I start the, the breast part early, so it's shorter. But it's also fine because I like this style. I can wear with jeans and I can also wear as layer layering on the long sleeve and i'm going to thailand so i can just wear this part on another thing about this design is that this is single crochet you see and there's a lot of hole you can see the skin like you see through what i did i wear the pad like a nipple cover <laughs> so you can't see the nipples but if you feel like i don't want to wear a pad you can wear a bra under of course you can wear a bra i don't like to wear a bra so i do it this way for those who don't like the ruffle you can just make the top without the ruffle first i was like i just gonna make it without the ruffle though because i like the sim simplicity of this design but then i was like okay let's try the ruffle if i don't like i can just you know undo it turn out so feminine and i love it even more i want to show you in the back because i run out of yarn so i have to like actually this is the color that i use at the back side on the top this part oh now i have to move the necklace this part yeah 
you see so it's like i use the leftover yarn like the yarn that i already have at home you can definitely use any yarn you want mm, to use and uh, the pattern call for either spot weight which is category 2 or dk weight yarn which is category 3 um for me i use the category 2 lana grossa but this yarn is already discontinued you can find this color in any auto brand if you like this color combination and i combine it with the super fine yarn like number zero like legs kind of mm, i don't know if they call legs like thread let's say so category zero is a noro yarn from silk and super beautiful i don't know if you can see the yeah the little thread between maybe you're not seeing like this green is come from that yarn because the lana grossa is like pink and where, when i run out of it i just combine um the lana grossa yarn the pink one with the purple also fine thread and yeah you can use any yarn you have like i, t I said and um, how to say the construction like i said is not that difficult start from the body part and then we do here the front and the back i like to do the front first because the front is always more challenging because you have breast area you need to do increasing and then decreasing back to to the number that you yeah to the how to say decrease back because you don't want it to be so big so i increase around the breast area and then i decrease back to the same number before i start the shoulder part in the written pattern we have the information from testers and this time we have so many testers so you see different colors yarn they use what type of yarn they use and how they do it because i share in the pattern how many like the details of different sizes of the tester how how they decrease how they increase you also find from from the pattern which is my own size and from the tester which is different sizes like we have from xs until like plus size woman in the pattern so yeah it's a major long style pattern but there are a lot of information notes and tips that you can learn alongside me and my team i wanted to say that i love this way of creating the pattern because this way you learn the how to say it, like the tips like really how i create the pattern so you're not just following me but you also learn to think alongside me this is like not just re repeat after me but learn the technique how we how i increase and decrease and this way you learn when people ask me how can i learn to design the crochet garments i would say you have to keep doing it as much as possible until you kind of know how to decrease and increase is come from experience so when you learn from my pattern i don't say this because you have to buy my pattern you can learn from other people too many people doing this way this day and there's many video tutorial on youtube to learn the basic thing i have over 100 videos on a tutorial playlist so you can also learn from all the previous design that i share for free here so that but for those who feel like now i'm ready to read the pattern and learn the decrease and increase and learn how to design so i would say that purchase the pattern which is really cheap affordable price to learn how to design and crochet i think this is the best way to invest into something you want to achieve or let's say what you want to learn because learning to design garments you need to learn how to use the tape measurement and i'm so happy that there are many artists crochet artists right now doing this way because it's really a benefit for you to learn to think along learn to use tape measurement this way you get a pattern and you can make the design for everyone in your family <laughs> you can make this for the baby too because when you learn how to measure the body you can make for the whole village <laughs> let's say that so yeah enough for this design even though i love it so much i really love the colors i want to make one more but i don't have time maybe i do it in thailand and this is super fast project you can make it in one day if you have time because i use seven millimeter hook <laughs> i'm a i'm a best friend like big big bigger hook is my best friend now because i feel like if i use smaller hook first of all 
it's going to be tight when you do single crochet try to try to do that first and let me know how you like it i don't like single crochet with the small hook because the material like the the work becomes super stiff i like to use bigger hook when working with single crochet or the smaller hook the hook that the yarn would call for usually dk with category 3 you will use hook 3.5 millimeter hook or 4 millimeter hook that is perfect when you work with half double crochet or double crochet but when you work with single crochet your work becomes so stiff it's not my kind of thing so i just say it in my just my uh, my own preference let's say but yeah maybe those maybe you like to have a like more stable and stiffness of clothing but i don't so try it on and see just you know sometimes just take the yarn that you want to work with and use different hook size and see which um how to say it, how the fiber turn out how do you like it you don't have to do everything that the pattern asks you to like you don't have to even use this yarn if you want to work with this pattern and you feel like no i want to have a thicker yarn i want to use with bulky weight yarn i'm sure you can work with bulky weight yarn i see someone do with bulky weight yarn already with this this top and turn out super nice so you can actually use the pattern and modify it into your liking into the way you wanted to wear your top because hey this is your creative process you can do whatever you want <laughs> let's just use pattern as a guideline okay all right let's get back into packing i'm gonna show you what yarn do i take with me okay so now is in my working space ignore all the mess <laughs> because i'm still packing and this is the project i'm working on right now The same construction start from the body part like but this time is go lower it's gonna be from here because it's going to be a dress and this is 100% cotton from Kobo Lion Brand Yan Kobo two colors that I combine one is let me see Malve Malve Malve? 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 I don't know how to say And this one is tan color Number 123 and number 145 So I have a lot I have almost 6, six skeins Like 5 and a half Like more than a half And then this one 5 Plus what I already have in here So it's like Over 10 skeins that I'm already going to take with me Because I'm going to make the dress and yeah still in the progress another yarn that i'm gonna take with me is alisa diva stretch yarn i'm gonna show you now so here is all my diva stretch yarn i'm not taking all of this because this is i think five kilo already i have many beautiful colors like i have this coral yarn i think i'm just gonna take one skin each the light so bright that i think can't really see yeah this is coral and oh this color in the screen looks so different this is more like green but in the screen is blue strength so it's more like oh, green than blue somehow weird and i have lavender i'm not sure if i take lavender and i don't think i take red color because i already have swimsuit with that color so i think i'm gonna take white white and brown more like tan color it's it's nice it may be blue i don't know if i would look good with this blue i would take just one skin of the color of each color that i'm gonna work with it like potential of working with it <laughs> and i plan to do um yarn video like take you along i want to find the natural fiber like banana fiber in organic cotton something like that i want to take the time to do a research and find a good place to to get yarn from thailand and maybe just see how they produce yarn i also have a dream in the future that i want to have my own brand using the yarn, yarn from my country and just like you know connect with the people who are doing this work and see if we can collaborate to create something beautiful 
not only for our fiber community but also for the environment because everyone loves to use cotton but you know cotton takes lots of water every year to grow the cotton so i think banana fiber would be a good option because we have so much banana in thailand and i don't know if i would find the place but it just come to me um a couple of weeks ago that i want to take the time to do research and find or connect with people who do this work already and see what i can do and work with them and also bring more the awareness of how we as an artist or like maker who working with yarn all the time how can we contribute into this community and not just you know choose the cheap yarn because that's what we can afford but maybe learn to also if you don't have money to buy a new yarn you can also get the second hand go to the second hand shop and get a sweater and unravel it i did in the past but now i have so much yarn because i work with so many companies so i have so much yarn already to work with but if you are in the place like you feel you want to learn to crochet and start to do something but you don't have money to buy new yarn you can also use the old sweater and unravel it and just use the material to remake something again so here my suitcase i have Put all the clothes in this section on this side what we have here this is all crochet clothing including my swimwear and here I take Alisa Diva stretch yarn with me only the natural color I showed you the other day and this is yarn I showed you also the other day so it fit perfectly in the back look I still have some space here I probably put something more but not so much because I want my bag to be not more than 20 kilo and then I will zip it and I'm done so that's it I managed to take you along with the packing or uh, this I think three days we do this together a little bit by bit you know first I start with folding the clothes and now I just select what I then I select what I want and then I put in the back and that's it and it's done and this time I think I do pretty good with the yarn even though I take much more than I imagine because I thought I'm gonna take just a few skin but anyway I take it and I'm going to make this dress so I just have to carry it with me and I really want to wear this dress that's why and if you want to make this top I'm sure every time I come up here and talking and wear my clothes after that you're like oh where can I get this tutorial or pattern so everything is in the description box below you can also learn to make this top with my free tutorial on my channel but for the pens i also wear my design this is um lolly pens i designed last year so you can get the pattern for this one i don't have a video tutorial for this one but i have a written pattern so you can grab a copy of both if you want to make this set to wear as well and i am not taking these pants with me i know it's so cool i actually could squeeze it into the back but the top i done i'm not taking it for sure because this is 100 percent wool and i'm gonna die in thailand like 35 degree to 37 38 so i won't take anything woolly with me but maybe these pants yeah I, I think about it. I, I think I have a space to squeeze this in. I think this is cool to wear in Thailand. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I see you soon in the upcoming video. Bye-bye.